Southwest Garo Hills Deputy Commissioner S.K. Marak today officially launched the Payment for Ecosystem Services Scheme for Southwest Garo Hills District in the presence of officials of line departments and NOCMAS, community and clan leaders at the DRDA Conference Hall Ampati. The Deputy Commissioner, while highlighting the objectives of the scheme, said that it is being implemented under Community-Led Landscape Management Project and is aimed at providing financial support to villages, communities, clans and individuals willing to conserve existing natural forests for a period of 30 years. He also sought the cooperation of all concerned for successful implementation of the scheme in the district. DGP Meghalaya Dr. L. R. Bishnoi today tweeted that East Khasi Hills District Police, acting on intel, has snapped one person and recovered 52.67 grams of heroin and rupees 1.46 lakh cash. A mobile phone and I-10 car was also seized from the accused. Meanwhile, drug awareness programs were organized by the Meghalaya Police in several districts of the state as part of observations for International Day Against Drug and Substance Abuse. Nashe Azadi Pakwara. Updating on the temporary restoration work of the 38.79 km of Smith, Maukundro and Maulad Road under Maukundro CNRD block that was damaged due to landslides, the Office of the Deputy Commissioner East Khasi Hills District informed that the work is still in progress. However, one-way traffic for medium-weight vehicles up to Maulad has been opened. Former Cabinet Minister and Pintar Umkra Emily A.L. Heck today laid the foundation stone for the Nongman Song Doba Secondary School in the presence of MDC Joseph Fanti in Lakadong. Environment activist H. H. Mormon on Thursday joined the All India Trinamool Congress along with his followers. Taking to Twitter, AITC MLA George B. Lingda welcomed the leaders. In the last 24 hours, Meghalaya recorded eight new COVID-19 cases and one recovery, taking the active cases toll to 15. Total confirmed cases are 93,886, of which 92,277 are recoveries. No death was recorded and the death toll stands at 1,594.